there. Well, since you're here, welcome to BGCA's Virtual Book Club. I'm Nicole, and right here on our YouTube channel, every couple of weeks, I will be featuring new and exciting books to read. And the best part? You get to follow along from the comfort of your own home. So grab your hot cocoa and let's get started. Our first book feature is titled Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. And Star Girl tells the story of a high school student who starts at a new school and kind of stumbles on finding her way. But she's able to overcome those fears and find ultimate self acceptance. Chapter 1. Did you see her? That was the first thing Kevin said to me on the first day of school, 11th grade. We were waiting for the bell to ring. See who, I said. Ha, <laughs> he craned his neck scanning the mom. He had witnessed something remarkable. It showed on his face. He grinned, still scanning. You'll know. There were hundreds of us milling about, calling names, pointing to summer tanned faces we hadn't seen since June. Our interest in each other was never keener during the 15 minutes before the first bell of the first day. I punched his arm. Who? The bell rang. We poured inside. I heard it again in homeroom, a whispered voice behind me as we said the Pledge of Allegiance. You see her? I heard it in the hallways. I heard it in English and geometry. Did you see her? Who could it be? A new student? A spectacular blonde from California? Or from back east where many of us came from? Or one of those summer makeovers, someone who leaves in June looking like a little girl and returns in September a full-bodied woman, a 10-week miracle. And then in Earth Sciences, I heard a name, Star Girl. I turned to the senior slouching behind me. Star Girl, I said. What kind of name is that? That's it, Star Girl Caraway, she said in homeroom. Star Girl? Yeah, and then I saw her. At lunch, she wore an off-white dress so long it covered her shoes. It had ruffles around the neck and cuffs and looked like it could have been her great-grandmother's wedding gown. Her hair was the color of sand. It fell to her shoulders. Something was strapped across her back, but it wasn't a book bag. At first, I thought it was a miniature guitar. I found out later it was a ukulele. She did not carry a lunch tray. She did carry a large canvas bag with a life-size sunflower painted on it. The lunchroom was dead silent as she walked by. She stopped at an empty table, laid down her bag, slung the instrument strap over her chair, and sat down. She pulled a sandwich from the bag and started to eat. Half the lunchroom kept staring, half started buzzing. Kevin was grinning. what I tell ya? I nodded. She's in 10th grade, he said. I hear she's been homeschooled till now. Maybe that explains it, I said. Her back was to us, so I couldn't see her face. No one sat with her, but at the tables next to her, kids were cramming two to a seat. She didn't seem to notice. She seemed marooned in a sea of staring, buzzing faces. Kevin was grinning again. You thinking what I'm thinking, he said. I grinned back. I nodded. Hot seat. Hot seat was our in-school TV show. We had started it the year before. I was producer slash director. Kevin was on-camera host. Each month, he interviewed a student. So far, most of them had been honor student types, athletes, model citizens. Noteworthy in the usual ways, but not especially interesting. Suddenly, Kevin's eyes boggled. The girl was picking up her ukulele, and now she was strumming it. And now she was singing, strumming away, bobbing her head and shoulder, singing, I'm looking over a four-leaf clover that I overlooked before. Stone silence all around. Then came the sound of a single person clapping. I looked. It was the lunch line cashier. And now the girl was standing, slinging her bag over one shoulder and marching among the tables, strumming and singing and strutting and twirling. Heads swung, eyes followed her, mouths hung open. Disbelief. When she came by our table, I got my first good look at her face. She wasn't gorgeous. Wasn't ugly. A sprinkle of freckles crossed the bridge of her nose. Mostly, she looked like a hundred other girls in school, except for two things. She wore no makeup, and her eyes were the biggest I'd ever seen. Like deer's eyes caught in headlights. She twirled as she went past, her flaring skirt brushing my pant leg, and then she marched out of the lunchroom. From among the tables came three slow claps. 
Someone whistled, someone yelped. Kevin and I gawked at each other. Kevin held up his hands and framed a marquee in the air. Hot seat, coming attraction, star girl. I slapped the table. Yes, we slammed hands. Wow, what an exciting first chapter. It looks like we're introduced to Stargirl very early on in the story, and it looks like she's already getting a lot of judgment from some of her peers. I wonder how this st story is going to carry on. Stick with us as we keep reading more next week.